Well, it is a monumental move by the utility regulator. The chairman told us last week in our Empowered Forum it was coming soon. This new docket is phase one, so to speak starting wheeling with intragovernmental power sharing, not full-scale competitive retail to all consumers just yet. Given that this uh, is something that's probably taken decades uh, to happen, there was a lot of discussion in the legislature uh, this past year about why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we moving energy to where it's needed from the places where we can best produce it. And now the Public Utilities Commission has officially opened the door to do just that in phases. First, intragovernmental wheeling, so within and between state and county facilities. The head of Life of the Land, a Hawaii advocate since the 1970s on environmental policies, including energy, explains. This docket dips one's toe into it by requiring government to government and therefore, if there are any subsidies or cross costs involved, we can work that out now. And then if it all works out, then you can open it up on a retail level to everyone else. The move comes as HECO has faced challenges with power supply and distribution and extended outages. The Energy Office has said for a long time that we believe, you know, this is an appropriate thing to look at. And particularly now, we've also said that uh, the status quo is not acceptable. Senator Jarrett Keohokalole chairs the Commerce and Consumer Protection Committee and tells me this is a positive step considering everything that has happened with HECO in the last year. Wheeling could provide more competition in power development and potentially save taxpayers big money on government electric bills. HECO told me in a statement they welcome discussion of wheeling with the understanding that Hawaiian Electric will continue to play a primary role in ensuring safe, reliable service and and financial equity for all consumers, adding it must be studied carefully to ensure they support such progress and do not aggravate community concerns. I think it does give connections to HECO, but it has also raised major concerns in the past. And if large users are able to bypass that and not pay their share of these embedded costs, then they will be absorbed by everyone else. Supporters say wheeling can help those not benefiting from the current structure. It would allow power producers from one side of the island to actually get the energy or get the credit for the energy uh, to, let's say, a low and moderate income community on another side of the island. So what happens next? PUC Chairman Leo Asuncion explains we will be calling together the electric utilities, governmental agencies and others, leading to a determination if wheeling can indeed be implemented in Hawaii. The commission expects to reach a conclusion by November 2025. I would say it's ultimately much better if you're on a continent and there are large players and multiple transmission lines and multiple places to get renewables. But on small, isolated grids, um, you really have to be very careful. Post Lahaina, uh, post Maui wildfires, we have to look at every opportunity uh, to save money, to reduce costs, reduce carbon, and bring in capital. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.